Hi, this is Steve at Green Fuel H2O. Making some progress on the Dodge Ram project. Just wanted to give you an update. The weather's been pretty bad. Finally had a couple good days. Was able to get out here and do this. So this is what I've got so far. I've got everything just kind of set in the box. The box is not in the truck or anything. I kind of uh, place everything before I permanently mount everything. So I got uh, one of the generators on this side, the tank in the middle. On this side, I decided to add a battery. Um, a couple people thought I should do that. I think it's a good idea. And uh, so I built a little cradle. And uh, don't don't look at my welds; they're not very good. But uh, to put the battery above the above the generator, you can see the other 144 plate generator sitting there. Um, in the middle got a little cradle that I've got the uh, tank sitting on so it's sitting up about three inches just high enough for it to clear the lid and what I'm going to do is uh, just get everything in here situated and before I bolt everything down put it in the truck I've got a concern about the uh, reservoir, and I've been thinking about this. And one of the other one of the other guys mentioned that uh, I'm probably gonna have some problems with with the water sloshing around in here. So I have to come up with some kind of a baffle system in here to keep the water from sloshing around. Because uh, when you go over a bump, you're gonna get electrolyte into your output tube and we don't want any of that in the engine. So I'm going to try and uh, figure that out. If anyone has any suggestions on how to keep the water from sloshing, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Got the uh, PWMs. Let me show you those. Let's see, we got one here. We're going to take. Four, four of these here. Thinking about putting two of them somewhere in here, or maybe down, down there. So two of them right here, and then two more over on this side. That way, each one can power a, a half of the generator. They've got a little plug in them. Oh, this one doesn't have a plug in it. For a uh, RJ45 cable. This might be on the other ones. What I'm, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pot out and remotely mount it in a box up in the cab. So I'll have all four pots in the cab. And I'm going to put uh, Thinking about putting the uh, the little amp screens in there too, so I know where where every uh, where the generator is sitting at on on current. But I'll, I'll mount those right in there, and then I'll mount mount a relay right here, and, and then another relay over here, and bring the power in somewhere. But anyway, I just want to give everyone an update. The project is still very much alive. And we're moving forward. Now we have some nice weather. Get this thing done. Hopefully, want to double my mileage on my Dodge Ram. My goal is uh, somewhere in the 35 mile per gallon range. If that, I don't even know if that's possible, but we're gonna give it, give it, give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do. I have. Uh, over 100 videos on HHO and be glad to help you out, answer some questions. Anyway, this is part two of the Dodge Ram project. I want to thank everyone for watching.